function generator, uh, probably three parts, uh, FFT and the generator itself. And compared to the old uh, scope, function generator is access to this uh, button on the uh, on here, turned into red. Click another time and you get this menu. Uh, this is the usual sine square, ramp, noise and ground ground is probably a shun because we are a relay and arbitrary we'll talk about that a little bit the frequency is changed of course with those uh, parameter two kilohertz and the uh, voltage let's put that to one volt and just for the amplitude and that's the basic setup so if we look at the sign i will try the maximum frequency but first let's look at the square uh y square because there is an opportunity to look at the uh edge of the square it's always a difficult shape to do we see some ring ringing at this at the beginning we could look at the um, fall time, rise time, and frequency. We'll see that on with with the complete setup. So, uh, seven point eight on rise time. If I trigger on the other one, fall time, same thing. Seven point eight. Uh, we could we could see both <laughs> in the in this strange uh, trigger thing. But uh, other than that, it's the usual, usual activity. Uh, and it's sort of 100 megahertz, 80 megahertz, if you look at the cursor, the ringing we got here, that gave us a limit of what we could uh, generate with that function due to filtering. Let's go back to a complete shape. Let's put back a sign. Um, sign you are limited to let's see 25 megahertz 25 megahertz is the internal maximum frequency you could could achieve if you try to increase the frequency or the amplitude it tops at 25 and you see the strange amplitude growing it's probably have a a bit on the filtering and it's about to, to collapse. So that's the end, amplitude uh, and phase and offset will be useful if we were have two function, but we only have one. Um, if we go to a more manageable frequency, let's say one kilohertz, one kilohertz. And uh, let's try to put it back to, time base that makes sense you could add add modulation to that modulation modulation you could turn this thing on start first with the amplitude modulation so it's a uh, 10% of the amplitude that is uh, modulate at 10 kilohertz so we are 1 kilohertz and we have a uh, 10 kilohertz adding to the shape Best way to look at it is increase the timetable. So with the uh, 20 millisecond per division, we have a, a better idea of the amplitude modulation. If you look too small in a time window, it's it seems to be modulated to amplitude without understanding why. Another kind of modulation um frequency modulation so it's a one kilohertz so you have uh, you try to add something that makes sense and this uh, will generate a shape that is a little bit harder to trigger on but basically if i stop on it it's uh increase decrease increase frequency um let's uh, play on it it's possible to trigger on it if you uh, use something like a slope normal 
let's change a little bit the frequency so um, it's trying to find a place on the uh, where the slope is lower than than the rest of it so this gives you an opportunity to trigger on it there's a, just a trick like that for frequency modulation uh, let's put back the normal trigger edge 50 percent let's go for the last modulation which is a phase modulation phase modulation let's see one uh, 0.5 kilohertz and two degree what does it look like look like this so the the shape is dancing a little bit uh, so the phase is moving over time parameter one could make it dance a little bit further and you could make it dance faster also so you could increase the misery of the curve six degrees seven degree things like that so all kind of uh, thing that you could add if you are designing a filter so let's turn this thing off modulation off basic wave as i mentioned maximum frequency is 25 megahertz uh, for a sine wave we cannot increase but there is a way to uh, work a little bit around this there is another type of shape you could add is this is um, arbitrary form that you load over a file let's have a look at it you simply draw i would say a table with eight eight k points and and this uh, point is a table of voltage over time the table uh, is uh, it's not alone there is a header on the top that says what is the intended frequency and what is the intended voltage of the of the uh, of the table so all together you pick the directory if you have usb it will appear here i've made a copy on my uh on my internal memory so it's easier to get it let's start work First with one kilohertz, one X, I will explain the one X. So if you select the file here, it just select the folder. Uh, if you want to really select the file, you have to click on the right, click OK, and the file is not loaded yet. It just appear on the path. If you really want to load it, you have to press load. And if the file is on the correct format and, and it's very tricky, then it's loading the, uh, the thing on the display. So it's a, uh, one kilohertz uh, we could modify the table by it now it's scaling the, the the table to generate the frequency or the voltage you want uh, so it's one kilohertz you need to get down to this uh, so frequency one kilohertz on the right amplitude things like that so it's very fun you could generate any shape you want um, up to the point where I play with it and I generated uh, 1 kilohertz, an example here, 10x, why 10x? You simply draw 10 time a sign, uh, cycle on the table and this, even though the table is low at 10 megahertz, that's a lower limitation than the internal arbitrary shape. Uh, it will be a 1 kilohertz 10 time this frequency so load it again so now it's loaded so the base frequency of the table is one kilohertz so you, if you were drawing one sign cycle the sign will be at one kilohertz but since i draw 10 i got 10 kilohertz uh, of this of this frequency so I, I sort of increase the possible frequency by a factor of 10 um, I play with it and the maximum frequency that makes sense without 
having a waveform that is too much distort. 10 megahertz, five time. Load this one. Load. Success. Increase a little bit the. Look at it. So we got a very good uh, 50 megahertz this time. So we were having 25 megahertz before. Uh, it's a base table that is repeat itself at 10 megahertz, but we are able to generate a, a 30 dB. Uh, we'll show the E15 on the next video. Uh, it's very, it's very, uh, very nice at 30 dB. It goes beyond that, but the shape get distorted. But at uh, 50 megahertz, that's uh, that's the limit. Uh, I'll put the um, the file on GitHub of those uh, uh, example that I've built. I've also done. Yeah, let's play with this one. A sweep. You could do a sweep frequency. Uh, this is not uh, shown anywhere, but it's uh, operation success. Let's go back to a lower frequency. So what is a sweep? This is a sweep. Let's do a single on it. Uh, a single. So what I mean by sweep, you start with uh, single. Start with the base frequency and you increase it linearly. So you could do a little bit of a poor man's uh, frequency response with that. If you synchronize your your um, your shape with it. And in fact, uh, this is a trick also that I've used. It will be in the file. I've added some peaks at the bottom and at the top. Let's play that. Let's synchronize this. So now it's triggering. And it's triggering on what? It's triggering on the uh, feature that I had in the uh, in the wavefront. So it's a pulse on the top and a pulse on the bottom. I could trigger on those pulse. And now that permits me to synchronize the shape. If you have a, a, an external frequency generator, um, you could generate two, uh, two shape. One is a square to, for timing and the other is the sine wave where you want to. So, but basically that permits me to have a nice way to synchronize uh, the shape. And now with this, we could see that I have the end frequency is uh, about 100 kilohertz, but the start frequency at the other side of it, of the trigger is something like 10, 10 kilohertz. So 10 kilohertz starting frequency and something like 100 kilohertz at the end. So this file will also be on the uh, GitHub page. Bye.